Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and in today's video, we'll take a look at how to use AI Builder prompts in Copilot Studio Agent. We'll first create a custom prompt which has detailed instructions and the option to upload a document. We will then call that prompt in a topic of a custom agent. And finally, test that agent in Microsoft Teams again by uploading documents. So stick around because this video does a fantastic job blending the AI across AI Builder and Copilot Studio. It's a good one. But first, here's my intro video. So let me go through a scenario first. What we have over here is a team and its job is to go ahead and see all the CVs submitted by these candidates and tier them based on certain criteria. And here are the four buckets of the criteria. It is professional affiliation, speaking and advisory activities, association and journal leadership, and publications and research. And based on these criteria, they can go ahead and take these candidates and put them in certain tier levels. This is all done manually right now, several times a week. What I'm going to show you is how we can automate all of this with AI Builder in the back end and Copilot Studio Agent in the front end. So let's get started. So here is a Word document of the instructions that that CI team references when they're going ahead and tiering each of those candidates. And you can see over here, it does have professional affiliation, public and research, and so on and so forth. For each of these categories, there are these tiers and it has instructions, very specific instructions on how to tier these candidates for this topic over here. So what I did was take this exact documentation and use it as instructions for my custom prompt that I built in AI Builder. So let me show you how I did that. I went through Power Automate and I went to AI Hub and over here I created a new prompt. When I select it, this is the one that I use, summarize text. And if you're interested, if you just go to all templates and the language and text analysis, it falls under that category, summarize the text. When I click on it, it gives me this overview, but this is the one that I tweaked. So for the model, I changed that to the standard GPT-40 because this one includes the documents. And so I thought I'll reference that. Next, I went ahead and gave it a different title, but I finally changed all of it here. So I'm going to call this as my CV tiering prompt. Then prompt. I'll go ahead and delete all of this here. And then this is the information that I'm putting in. Uh, for the top, I'm going to say, please summarize the given using following criteria. And that's what it is. The given and right in given, I'm going to go ahead and add a content. And that is going to be an image of a document. And this one, I'm going to call that as CV right over here. So now it reads as, please summarize the given CV using the following criteria. And over here, the next thing that I want to put is something like this. I'm going to say for the document, extract professional affiliation, publications and research, so on and so forth. So just copy that and paste it over here so I can give more instructions. And then for the next one, I'm going to mention this is that following are the explanations of each criteria and their tier levels. And for the rest of the instructions, I literally go back to that exact same documentation that the CV team used. So right over here, the first one was professional affiliation. So I'm just going to go and highlight all of this and do a control C for copying. And I'm going to come back into our browser here. And I'll just paste it, right? Because that's the first one, professional affiliation. Um, and I'll just clean up some of the stuff over here just so that there's no confusion whatsoever. Uh, so that's basically all that I'm doing, right? But I did a full, literally full copy and paste right over here. So that's the first one, all right? Professional affiliation. Let's go and add the remaining three as well the exact same process. Come over here, do literally a whole highlight, do a copy, and then I'll paste it back over here, right here, right? Control C, come back right there, paste it, do some cleanup, and then we move it to the next one. So right there, right? I'm just gonna go over here, paste that up over here, here, clean that up. Let me go and clean this one up as well. And let me fast forward the second two. Okay, so all four of them have been added. There's professional affiliation, publications and research, speaking and advisory activities, and finally, association and journal leadership. What I want to do is add some additional instructions right at the end. So I'm going to come here, hit shift enter, and here is the last piece that I want to add. It's basically to get a final score. So here's what it is. 
review the tier levels of the following and provide an overall estimated tier level, basically a final score. So this final piece is the only additional information that I added in the instructions. So let's do a test. I'll scroll up in the CV, I'll actually go and click on that in upload an image or a documentation. I have a test CV over here. So I'll select that, uh, click on open, I'll click on close and over here, click on test. So right now the prompt is actually working. It is going and extracting the information. So here's the response. Now, based on the instructions we've given, the professional affiliations has been graded as a tier level one. For publications and research, it has been graded as a tier level two. Speaking and advisory activities, tier level two again. Associations and journal leaderships, tier level two. And then the final score for all of this was a tier two. So you understand how this is working? Again, we just took the existing process and the instructions that the team has already been using and put those instructions over here and the builder just went in and did it just like that. So what I'll do is now I'll go and click on save right over here to make sure that that finishes off. Perfect, the prompt has been saved successfully. So now let's switch over into the Copilot Studio side. So I'm in my Copilot Studio and I'm building this new custom agent. Keep in mind that it needs to be in the exact same environment where we've gone ahead and built that custom prompt. And just to confirm, when I come over here in my Power Automate where I was creating that custom prompt, the environment is AI Builder. And so in a Copilot Studio, I'm making sure it's in the exact same environment. Okay, cool. And so far, everything is blank in this agent because I just went in and created it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that as is because the main one that I'm focusing on is the topic. Um, so I'll create another topic and I'm gonna call this one form blank. I'll call this topic name as CV assessment. And then here I'm gonna go and add some triggers. And for the phrases of these triggers, I'm just gonna reinvent the wheel here. So I'll come back and I'll just copy all of these different criteria. So the professional affiliation, publication research, so on and so forth. I just copied that, come over here, click on the edit, and I'll just paste it. And because they are in separate lines, the moment I hit plus, they should go as each of these phrases. Uh, the only additional one I can think of is also just say CV just in case. So I put that in and hit enter. And now I'll at least go and save it because that way at least our new topic is done. Done. Cool. The topic is saved. Next thing I'm going to do is ask a question, which is basically telling the people, hey, go ahead and upload that CV document. And that document is going to be assigned to a variable. So here's how we do it. In ask a question, when I add it, this identify, I'm gonna go and change that to right over here. It is going to be of a file. And then the name over here, the variable theme, I'm just actually gonna go and say variable CV right there. And the question I'm gonna say, please provide the CV file. Okay, right there, that's pretty easy. All right, so now let's go and call that prompt. And again, if you are in the correct environment, the environment where we went and built the prompt is the exact same one where we are building the agent. If you click on this add node over here, and if you come into this add an action, right here you should actually see that prompt. So just to verify, when I come back over here, CV tiering prompt, that was the name that we gave. So when I come back into my Copilot Studio, CV tiering prompt, that's the one. And it says updated nine minutes ago. So I'll go and select that. And over here it's asking for very simple information is that for the CV, go ahead and give it what? Well, give it the file. And for that, we will assign that variable right over here. See, it already shows you that. So I'm just gonna select that. And then the output, well, I'm gonna go and save that to another variable. And that's easy too. Come over here, click on that, create a new variable. I'm gonna click on that because I'm gonna rename it. And I'm gonna call that as the bar CV output, all right? That's it. So go ahead and click on save. And so this part is pretty much all done. But if you're interested to see the data that's coming through, that's fine. We'll just click on this new node, click on send a message. And in that, we'll just go and assign this variable, all right? The CV output one. So let me go select that one. And that's it, the CV output that shows up over here. Now I'll click on save. Cool, topic is saved. So let's test it. All right, so one of our triggers over here is CV. So I'll just go and type in CV, click on that enter. It'll directly come into this node over here. Perfect, it's asking, provide the CV file. So I'll click on the attachments. I'll go and grab the same one over here, which is the example that I did before. Select that, and I'll go and click on enter over here. So it's processing. This processing is important because you can see over here, it's actually talking to the prompt, the prompt that we just made. And any second now, we should get all this information. And right over here, see the information came through. Now granted, it's not very clean. 
it is giving us a lot more information over here. For example, even told us how much tokens were consumed and so on and so forth. But hey, it did the job that we wanted, all right? For each of the criteria, it is going and giving us the tier value. And then at the end, it is giving us the overall tier value as well. It's working really well. The two AI systems are nicely integrated with each other. So let me show you a finished one, all right? I went and built an exact same agent, but just to save us some time, I went ahead and published that directly into Microsoft Teams as well. So let me show you that agent, here it is. This is the one that I call tiering agent. We'll go in over here. I went ahead and added some description, that's it, but I left the orchestration off. I don't have any knowledge over here. In the topics, I went and added a similar one. The CV assessment one, that's the exact same one. And you can see the triggers are the exact same. The question I asked is the exact same. All of it over here, okay? The only difference I've done is when I went to the channels, uh, I went ahead and published this into my Microsoft Teams. And my Microsoft Teams, I just call that as the tiering agent. And in my Teams, you can see that tiering agent. And I've already done some examples over here. Like I've actually gone ahead and triggered it. Um, I've actually gone ahead and triggered it. It's asking me for that CV file. I literally go ahead and upload this CV file. Now, since I'm doing it through Teams and I'm the one who's having this conversation, all of these documents over here are being saved into my OneDrive. So that will be the same scenario for you. However, no matter where the final destination of the document is, it still goes through the prompt. We get the information and it's presented over here. So let's do another test over here right now, right? So I'll just come in all the way to the bottom and I'll just go and say CV, all right? Because that was one of the triggers. The moment I do CV over here, the agent asks, please upload your CV file. Sure, I'll just click on this plus. I'll click on this add file um, and I'll say, okay, upload from this device. And I'm gonna go and put in something else. I'm gonna say this John Doe MD1, click on open. Uh, it uploads it, but I do still send it. So now I'm sending it. Now it is going through the prompt and it's getting processed. And any second now, it should go ahead and respond back to the information that I want. Right over here, you see all of this type of information? This is what I should have because in essence, we are actually talking to the agent. Right over here, see, pretty neat. It's going ahead and categorizing each of these in a tier level. So for publication and research, it's tier one. Speaking and advisory, it is tier one all the way down. And the final score also is giving me is tier one. Man, this is actually a really good CV candidate over here. But you get the idea, all right? This works and it works so well. AI build a prompt in the back end, but in the front end, we are using a custom agent to have the conversation, including asking you for the file. So we just geeked out together taking a look at the technical side of how it works, the AI builder and the Copilot Studio. But let's switch gears a little bit and look at from the administrative side, specifically the license requirement. And not so much as how much it's gonna cost you, but what all do you need? Because let's face it, we are using Copilot Studio and AI builder. So for that, we actually need to go and take a look at both of these license requirements. Uh, for the Copilot Studio, you either have the message pack or if you go pay as you go, which I've done a whole video on that. I've taken that and put that link in the description below. But then there's also the credit consumption for the AI builder. Or is that the case? And actually in this scenario, it's not. So here's how it works. If that AI prompt was say used in Power Apps or in Power Automate, then yes, we would be consuming those credits. However, since we are going ahead and using that in a Copilot Studio agent, there is no consumption of credits. However, there is consumption of messages. And there's actually a whole documentation on Microsoft. One of the key things that it says is that access to AI Builder features in Copilot Studio within an environment requires Copilot Studio capacity, which uses the message currency. That's what it says. And the message consumption rates are also of different types. So for the Copilot Studio with the AI tool features, uh, you either have the text and generative AI tools, which is basic or standard or premium. Now this is what the Microsoft documentation states, but I think you will find it more interesting is to actually see the consumption in the back end. So let me show you that. All right, so let me get out of over here. And the first thing that I wanna take a look at is the actual credit consumption. Did it actually consume any credits? Because based on the documentation, it should only be taking messages. But let's confirm that. Uh, I'm making sure I'm in the correct environment. And this is the one over here, the CV tiering. This is also the finished one that I showed you. Both are the exact same. Um, so I'll go and click on the more. I'll click on discover all. And right over here is the AI builder activity. Again, I've done a whole video on monitoring in detail, but I'm still gonna show it to you. That video is down in the description below. Um, so I'll select it. Um, and it's going ahead and loading the last seven days. All right, I can see pretty much everything over here. 
check this out. On the right side, the AI credits is absolutely zero. And if you don't believe me, right over here, you can see that AI credits consumption, zero credits. There's absolutely no credits being utilized. Uh, this is the one from today. In fact, the testing that I was doing even yesterday, absolutely no credits being consumed, even those that I was using inside Teams. So this is proof that there is no credits being consumed over here at all. Even though we are using the AI builder for our backend system, we are not consuming any credits over here. But let's take a look. Is there any message consumption? Because the documentation says it should be. So for that, I'm gonna go back into our Power Platform Admin Center. And you know how it is. You go to the licensing piece over here. Um, select that environment of yours first because it makes it easier. Ours is the AI Builder. So I'll select that. Um, I'll go ahead and select Copilot Studio. And then when you come to the bottom, select the closest month. So I'll go and select this month and I'll click on download. I've already downloaded that. I have that CSV file. So let me open it up over here, all right? This is the CSV file. You see the AI Builder environment and that is the agent, tiering agent. But check this out, all right? The two features that we consumed was classic answers and the text and gen AI tools. Remember in that Microsoft documentation, it said these are the different categories of consumptions. In our case, it was the standard. All right, so for the classic answer, the messages were not built. There were nine messages, but they were not built. However, the one where we used the AI builder prompt over there, 33 messages were used. So this is proof that the licensing consumption for the AI builder inside Copilot Studio will consume your messages. It does not consume any of your AI credits. So let's do a quick recap. First, we built our custom prompt in AI Builder. Then we call that prompt inside Copilot Studio and one of the requirements was to go and upload a document. However, from the licensing standpoint, everything came from the Copilot Studio side, which was the consumption of messages. Yes, we were seeing the AI Builder being used. Yes, in the reporting piece, we can see the different prompts being used, but no credits were used over there. Everything was going through the messages side. Hopefully this video was useful to you and it gives you the motivation to now start merging these tools, AI both from the AI Builder side and Copilot Studio. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.